to back to the robotics tutorials and in this video we will be of an electrical robot okay so what are the things that you should be having with you the hardware part to make a basic uh, robot okay so let's see one by one uh, uh, briefly okay so the components required okay as I've already told in uh, in the beginning of uh, of of the other video that uh, the robotics that we are gonna deal with uh, is gonna work with the principle of stimulus and response, right? So, see what are the things that we need for theory and implemented in the hardware form, right? So, first of all, we need a set of sensors. So these sensors, what they do is they catch the stimulus from the environment. Okay. So uh, let's say I'm gonna talk in uh, with respect to a line, basic line following robot. Okay. A line following robot is nothing but a ro autonomous bo uh, you know robot that detects and follows a line on the floor. Okay. So what are the sensors that does these uh, do these line follow robots consist of? First of all, so the components will be sensors. <coughs> So what I mean by sensors is these are electrical components that are meant like okay I'll show you one sensor uh, like that you see this this thing you see here it is a line following infrared sensor okay so this is one of the sensors that we will be using later the, uh, and now uh, the next part would be after the sensor has catch something so need we need some processing power right for our robot to process the actual information cache by the sensors right so for that we will be needing the process processing part okay the processing so I will be uh, in this series of tutorials uh, how to make a robot using basic logic gates if you don't know what the terms mean here don't worry about it we'll explain it later so first thing the processing part we have two types then you have the cpu uh, that is using a microcontroller or a microprocessor okay so uh, for i'll show you how these things look so you will be after the after having the sensors part you will be having something like this this is a, a motherboard this is called a motherboard you have a processing unit here so uh, don't worry about all this we'll explain everything in detail about it later so your bot now has your yeah, uh, processing unit a motherboard i mean a motherboard a processing unit a sensors okay so coming to third part what your robot consists of is the actuators, right? Something that the uh, processing unit signals, and this actuators actually, you know, perform the uh, mechanical, you know, uh, stuff that is moving some somewhere or rotating the wheels or something like that. So the actuators are nothing but, uh, uh, let's say, in a basic robot, you'll be using actuators like these ones. These are nothing but a 12 volt or uh, DC electric motors. So these are the actuators here. Okay. So these are the main three parts of a uh, uh, ro elect electronic robot. Okay. So let's see all the other components that you will be actually needing to build your own robot. I'm talking about custom robot. Okay. Uh, if you are gonna take an option of getting a, a pre-built robotic kit, then you won't be needing all this. This is only for if you have, if you wanna build your own custom robot using your own PCB, soldering them, you know, etc. So uh, the first thing you should be knowing about is this is something called as the general purpose board. Okay. This is called the GPB. So this is a uh, nothing but a board with copper. Uh, holes here with the copper cladded holes here so that uh, you will be able to mount your sensors or uh, other electronic stuff and you can solder them in the fashion that you need to make your circuit work right so this is called a gpb and maybe if you opt for uh, uh, much neater you know uh, thing then this is called a pcb which is a printed circuit board uh, so the printed circuit board is like uh, you have copper uh, first you have copper in this whole area and then you actually make a design of your own for the connections and uh, uh, then you etch it there's something called as the etching of copper so using the, that principle you will etch this and make a printed circuit board so, so that you'll fit the electronic components here and you'll have uh, with proper connections on the other side 
Okay, that was about the PCB and the connections. Now, uh, you will also be have to be familiar with, with this thing. This is called a soldering gun and you will also be uh, needing a soldering tin which is a metal uh, the metal tin which acts as a soldering you know, uh, helper. And then uh, you will be of course needing the tools of trade, right? Like screwdrivers and screws and stuff for the actual mechanical body of your robot. Like, you, uh, like this one, let's say this is a uh, body of the robot with uh, you know uh, servo controlled steering and the chassis and uh, fixing for a DC motor and gears etc right mm, so that was about the chassis and of course you'll be needing a lot of tape and you will uh, for the power supply part you can uh, either use lead acid batteries which are quite heavy but they deliver the power necessary for your motors and your electronic boards or else you can go with this hi-fi kind of a nickel cadmium battery which is a you know 12,000 which gives you a very high power of 12,000 milliampere hours you know this is quite fancy if you'd say and of course the tires and stuff the mechanical stuff and uh, you'll you'll be if you are doing custom robot you will absolutely be needing this this is called as the multimeter so the multimeter is used to measure the voltages the current etc in your circuit boards trust me this comes in very very handy okay so uh, these are the basic few things that you will be needing in your robot and this these are the components that a basic robot will consist of okay so I'll be seeing you with some of the uh, with the advanced tutorials and uh, hopefully we'll be making a robot very soon so be tuned stay tuned